So what we're looking at in this section just here is torn grain. And I'm gonna show you why I use oil and professional wood turners like Mike Mahoney uh, that I've learnt this technique off use oil to cut torn grain out in troublesome material that can be pro uh, quite problematic. So let's get straight into it. Before I dive into cutting this piece with oil, I wanna introduce myself. My name's Kerry Corney, a wood turner from Brisbane, Australia. So I learnt this technique, as I mentioned, off Mike Mahoney, and I've been using it ever since I've watched his DVD. And they're also now available on YouTube. He's released all his videos from back in the day, and they are a plethora. They are a wealth of knowledge. So I highly recommend going and checking his YouTube channel page out and, and watching his videos. The main thing that I use the oil for, as and Mike explains it as well, it helps lubricate the inside of the bowl. And it also, what I've found is it turns that brittle, that real dry, brittle wood in, it makes it softer, clumps it and swells it. So when you're cutting through, it just makes it such a dream and there's less friction and heat with your tool on the timber. And now when I am talking about cutting through here, I'm going to be using the Glen Lucas GL5 and that's sharpened to a 45 degree angle there. You can just see in along here that I've reduced the bevel. So I've removed some of that heel and what that does in turn is reduces the friction of the tool on the timber. So it's less steel on the timber surface. So I highly recommend putting a fresh edge on your tool and then getting your oil and then beginning. So. Let's start, I've got some uh, tongue oil here by uh, Woodcut Tools. Just going to get that there and you can see that it's on this side, but what I do is I just coat the whole area with the oil. So, right, so now that wood's nicely lubricated there and Apologies that this video is a lot shorter than my standard videos. Normally my videos are a little bit longer, but I'm gonna start releasing a few more of these little short sort of, I guess, more down to the quick, to the point sort of videos to hopefully help you out. A little bit, a little bit less dragged out as well. Not saying that my videos are dragged out, but. Right, so I'm gonna get the tool here. I'm gonna come around, make sure I'm cutting, I'm cutting on center there, so I am. And we know that the, the torn grain is closest up into this rim section here. So if I start to get a bit of vibration, you might see my fingers coming around the back here just to slightly touch that, that timber. I haven't got the lathe running flat out, so I've got it slightly. See, I'm getting a little bit of vibration there. So I'm just gonna back the speed off because if we have too much speed, it'll create chatter. And we don't want that because that just then again creates another issue that we have to deal with as wood turners. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna find where it's cutting. I'm gonna open the flute. And I'm just gonna slowly come down that wall. The tool is cutting about the two o'clock position. Keep coming down, bring my hand around, fingers over the flute. And I don't wanna get my head in the way of that camera up there, but come around the bottom there and slow our cut right down. Now let's see how it looks now. And as you can see there, that torn grain has now been completely eliminated. So we've taken the torn grain out. So we now can speed up our sanding process. You're not forever sitting there sanding one side trying to eliminate that torn grain. Then in then in turn you, you thin that side of the bowl down, which we don't want because then it's uneven wall thickness on the way down. You'll then wear through your drill mandrels and you'll burn through your sandpaper at a much greater rate. And then that all costs money, which we want to avoid. So just simply by giving a quick keen edge on the tool, a bit of oil for lubrication will work an absolute treat. Check this video out just here on all the sanding tools that I use and this video here on how I sand. So thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you all directly. Bye.